Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Today we will be discussing Layer 7 or Application Layer Denial of Service Attacks, specifically the slow loris vulnerability and how to go out and discover the vulnerability in the wild. Now, it uh, predominantly affects Apache servers versions 1 and 2, so if you can find a good Apache server, go out, conduct your reconnaissance and your enumeration. Find Apache servers, then the attacks that we are about to demonstrate um, are effective out in the wild for taking out websites, completely completely shutting them offline. And what I like specifically about a layer seven denial of service attack, uh, such as Solaris, which let's take a look at Solaris. It works by opening multiple connections to the targeted web server. Uh, generally, it uses HTTP GET requests, but it maxes out concurrent connections that the affected or vulnerable server can have open at any given time. But what makes this a specifically um, useful utility, or the two methods that we'll show in a moment, what makes them extremely useful is the fact that um, we can go here to a quick speed test. Now, I can't really delve into the idiosyncrasies as to the network topology that I'm on at the moment. But I will say that I am at quite the distance from the main router um, over a wireless connection that has a lot of interference. So my, uh, my internet speeds aren't, aren't that great. <clears throat> so in essence, I'm wanting to be able to take a computer with relatively limited hardware, a single computer, and excessively slow. I can't even load the speedtest.net website. That's how horrible my internet speeds are. Excessively limited bandwidth. I want to take those two variables and combine them with an attack effective enough to take a website offline. Now the vulnerable website we'll be looking at is owned by a friend of mine and I discovered the vulnerability for him actually and he's allowed me to use it for testing purposes and for the demonstration within this video. We'll let this load. Okay. If we go over here, you can go to uh, the GitHub hyperlink up at the top, and you can download Slow Loris. It's a Perl program. You can just run the sudo apt update, install Perl, and you know, install the requisites down there. And you'll be able to conduct the Slow Loris attack after you uh, clone or download your zip file, extract it, uh, change directory, and make sure that it is allowed to be an ex executable. But if that be the case, then you can, you know, with the dot forward slash solaris.pl, and then you can do tac dns, and, and then your website. We'll get to that momentarily. This is the website. As you can see, it is currently up right now. Uh, you can surf to this and try it yourself if you like, just for testing purposes. Now, if this were in a, a site out in the wild that I were going to attack, which in this instance it actually is because my friend isn't currently in the process of um, expanding this website and utilizing it for whatever reason you know he has set forth for it. But at the moment, he's building on this website. It's his first website. He's hosting on Apache server, but once he gave me the IP address, not even the IP address, he gave me, you know, the uh, domain name right there, I was able to get the IP address, and I did a little bit of uh, reconnaissance. Now, the command I ran was an in-map scan, and uh, I already had the output of that exact scan right there just for the purpose of saving time in the video, but... Um, Long story short, you can go back to the video I have on InMap and review it if you want a tutorial in, on InMap. But this is a simple, uh, quick scan with um, ver the verbosity level um, increased, and then advanced detection on the operating system with the additional script scans. But the main point are the script scans, the uh, script vulnerability and the script exploit right here. And the output here 
is what I originally noticed when I was running the vulnerability assessment on this website. Um, and this this is great because when you see this, nine times out of ten or more, it is vulnerable, and it's out in the wild. I found this on a lot of websites, and I'm not going to say that I've used it for the purposes of conducting illegal activity and taking websites offline, but it is out there, I promise you. So, we see on the HTTP Sloloris check, it says vulnerable. And this is just information on those open ports and the services that are running and the versions. That was a pretty comprehensive scan that I was running um, a moment ago. And, you know, when you run it, obviously, it's just going to take a while. But the output is in the other terminal. So we'll control C and stop that. But we're, what we're looking for specifically when you go out and check this in the wild and how you'll discover this vulnerability is with an in-map scan. You have to port scan it. But once you port scan the, the web server in question or the website you're wanting to do reconnaissance and enumeration on, um, for instance, my friend's uh, website is vulnerable or likely vulnerable to Slowloris attacks. So we have this website up right here. It is a fully functional website. Surf to it. How do we take it offline? Well, we have a few options. The first one being the Slowloris that we uh, we downloaded CD download okay we will change directory and that's just where I unzipped it alright it's killing me here There we go. Okay, now we're ready for the slow lowers attack. Dot pl attack DNS, and then we do URL permission denied. Okay, this is what I was speaking about a moment ago. We'll go to downloads. Yet to use it. This is actually a fresh install on my operating system. I just downloaded Solar, so. But this is good because it'll show you exactly how it needs to be done. So, this website's up. Control C. Nautilus is closed. And we'll run the same command. Now, bam, building sockets. We'll give that just a few minutes. Still up right now. <coughs> While that is up, we will go to preference. And the reason I do this is so it's not stored in cache. Lowers is successfully connected and his website's probably offline right now but to make sure unequivocally and absolutely that it is we will clear my recent history from Firefox so it's not cached and we'll go back to port and it is still up wait just a moment
ISO HTTP Okay, so the slow lords didn't take it down right there. But this did. And now it's saving cache, so it's saying that website's up, but it's not really surfing. Bam. Cody'sComputing.com is now offline, ladies and gentlemen. So, what went wrong? Well, honestly, I'm not 100% certain on that. Because the slow loris that I just used a moment ago um, has taken Cody'sComputing.com offline before. But, as you can tell right now, it is unable to connect. Service available? No. And we have 321 connections. So let's stop it just to prove it. And voila. Oh, well. Bam, back up. Up. Still up. Still up. It's resilient. Oh, it's down. Okay. And once again. Let's see my recent history. And it is down. Completely offline. We were able to get from point A to point B. Um, conducting the vulnerability analysis to begin with with an in-map scan which led us to the um, likely vulnerability of the Apache server being able to be taken offline with a slow risk attack or maintaining multiple connections concurrent connections and overloading the uh, the Apache server way over here and see you can get so much information from an in map scan it's it's ridiculous I mean that is literally the go to the go to okay there we are slow lords bam and it is an Apache 2.4.7 Ubuntu server which I know that to be correct because he is running Ubuntu I know him he's a good friend of mine okay now that right there probably wondering what that was HTTP uh, slow HTTP test help slow HTTP test is uh, tack H slow loris default and then uh, you have your range killer tack R slow body tack B and slow read uh, X I've never really messed with anything other than the slow lures and the slow body they seem to work pretty effectively um, U for URL and then C for your connections I for interval between follow-up data and seconds and then your rate for connections per second is pretty important other than that that's the syntax and usage for it but you know now how to discover the vulnerability in the wild if you watch some of my other videos, I'll show you things like DNS enumeration and how to turn the dom domain name of a, a URL into an a IP address that you can port scan. Um, so I like to make videos for people of varying degrees of knowledge. Um, hopefully those who are beginning, I like to be succinct and to the point, yet thorough enough to where a beginner 
as well as an intermediate or more advanced person can all gain something from you know watching and and discovering you know just take a time out do a little bit of research but vulnerability analysis with this knowledge gained you can actually go out in the wild and shut websites offline what's great about it remember it is a single denial of service not a distributed so you're using a single machine a limited you know potentially limited bandwidth and extremely limited hardware but I was uh, working with extremely limited bandwidth as well and take down you know a website or multiple websites being hosted by a server so it's a very very powerful attack um, because it is an application or a layer 7 attack it's harder to detect um, it's it's harder to block it, it actually sends legitimate requests to the server so it looks like um, legitimate traffic when, when considering what an intrusion deten a detection or prevention system could potentially see as far as network traffic analysis legitimate requests look good so um, very very simple attack to do if you know how to do it not very hard at all not wanting to give up on slow loris here because I have faith in it this thing has taken down I've I mean to be completely honest with you I've used slow loris that little Perl program right there with that tech DNS with my URL target URL to take down many websites so why I wasn't able to take down you know even even given the extenuating circumstances of my uh, limited hardware and extremely limited bandwidth I'm, I'm not understanding why it wasn't taking codyscomputing.com offline regardless um, feel free like share leave a comment subscribe let me know what you think if you have any suggestions for future videos uh, let me know and I hope you go out there in the wild discover these vulnerabilities and make sure that the admins are made well aware of their vulnerable Apache servers in one way or the other you know you can shoot them a nice little email hey port scanning your server you might be vulnerable to slow lures it'd be really nice of you or you can take them offline for a week or two and let them discover you know, what the hell's going on themselves. Whatever you want to do. Go out there and have fun, but it's killing me. I haven't seen some packets here. I'm wanting it to take it offline. I know it will. I know it will. Okay. Let's go preferences. Alas, I give up. I would assume that it's probably given the extremely limited bandwidth I have, but I don't know. Regardless, those are two tools in your arsenal now to conduct layer 7 or application layer denial of service attacks. Um, enjoy them, go out, discover these vulnerabilities, and have fun. Take care, y'all.